What you want to cultivate is an environment where students are uh, more at the center of your learning. And by that, we're talking about things that engage students and also give teachers reliable data to act on right on their feet. For the last couple of years, the district has been looking into one-to-one -one programs and came up with a 6 through 12 uh, deployment of MacBook Airs. It allows my students to have much easier access to information when I'm helping other students. I teach an academic support class and so there's 10 different subjects going on at the same time. So while I'm helping somebody with Algebra 1 and somebody has a question on geometry, I can direct them to a website. Some of the great power of these programs is to take uh, these math concepts and now students can actually sketch up real buildings whereas you and I might have been doing that as a word problem. More abstractly students can actually practice their math skills um, while they're doing something much more constructivist in nature. They go out from class and, and everyone has that opportunity to get that information and bring it back. I've, I've seen a huge change with the students. I'm definitely more interested and fascinated with the things that I learned because I can look at it on my math book rather than looking at it on a board or just hearing the teacher speak to me about it. Um, I think we communicate better. Not just me communicate better with them. Um, I spent a lot of time talking to students before and now they're able to talk back to me. And students that wouldn't ask a question before can post on Edmodo and some of them are very willing to do that. And they help each other. There's more student to student communication than there used to be. Our teachers, now that they have MacBooks, are able to engage students in uh, graphing applications actually. They're getting instant kind of formative assessment or quizzing would be kind of the layman's terms, feedback, so that teacher can act on that right in that classroom as opposed to waiting a day or two and then reteaching when it's out of context. Well, it is so nice to be able to look at them and say, pull out your computer and your laptop or your MacBook and let's look at this data and, and have the most current data available instead of spending time running it off and it's two years out of date and, and that kind of thing. So that's been huge. Or if there's an issue that happens in the world, especially with our human geography or government class, we just pull that up and, and look up, read about it that very moment. And so I think it allows them to make a connection between what they see on the internet and they see in the news and what we're talking about in our classroom. Lab is wonderful, and the lecture is wonderful, and the book is wonderful, but that experiential, interactive thing is hard to replace. It's very helpful um, going from class to home, because um, you know in class you might not be able to understand everything, but when, if you can bring the class kind of home with you, then if there's anything you don't understand, you have time at home to look over it and see what you missed. It's given them more confidence that they can find the answer if they're at home doing their homework, that they don't have to wait to get to class to ask me how to do it. Being exposed to all this technology and software is kind of preparing the students and myself for um, college and after schooling because technology is going to be growing more and more and so being prepared for it is very helpful. Technology is part of our culture. We have to be preparing them for jobs that don't exist yet and many of these jobs involve technology. It's not just, we've got to all use iMovie this week. We're learning to use iMovie. How are you using iMovie? It's about what is it that you need to be able to do? Do they need to memorize things this week? Do they need to reflect this week? You know, are they just documenting? Creativity is, looks a lot different than it did 20 years ago. Creativity now um, means that students are creating apps, um, that students are creating games, and that they have to think critically about problems and solutions that a user can create. Those are the kinds of experiences that uh, students that don't have access to a computer won't be able to do um, by the time they, they leave high school. It exposes students to a lot of new career options. That access can be really empowering for, for any student. We've had a really great first year because we've tackled kind of the functionality issues. How do we work pages? What is this keynote thing? And how do these things compare to Microsoft Office, for example? But we've also started to make a really strong transition toward really focusing on the curriculum and instruction. That allows us to maximize our time in school. For a teacher to be able to walk around a classroom and help students one-on-one -on -one because they did half of their lecture at home, online, or through the MacBook is really one of the things that we're most excited about making teaching and learning more effective.